Martinio, how are you? Hello, how are you doing, man? Oh, good. I'm very well, thank you very much. Congratulations on the show. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I I was watching some of it today. It's uh, it's 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 a lot more than I was anticipating in the in the best possible way, which is always a a, a good thing. Have you how excited have you been with the reactions to the to the show so far? Because people seem to be seem to be really digging it so far. Yeah. Look, man, I've been I've been acting for like 20 years now and uh, I don't usually get very positive feedbacks <laughs> for whatever <laughs> reason. Usually people are more than, um, you know, harsh critics uh, that I've received. Um, and this is the first time that I'm starting to hear some really beautiful stuff. So I'm very excited about it and, and you know, proud and it's just it's good it's, it's nice to, to hear something positive yeah yeah i can imagine it's a whole new world for me okay <laughs> that's so good it hasn't been like stay this in it. Uh, up until now so <laughs> let's hope you stay in it let's hope you stay in this positive <laughs> this positive world um let's go back to the beginning because i know with with tv shows obviously there's probably you can imagine a long audition process so how long from when you got the script to when you actually got the part how long did that take? Did it did it take quite a while to to nail it down? Oh well, yeah. I had worked with this production product production company before, so I mm -hmm. think that was my audition. Um, because they offered me the role. You know, it wasn't like set on stone and or anything. I still had to do like a screen test for the you know the the people in wearing suits uh, on the offices to for them to give me the green light. But uh, the producer Teresa Fernandez Valdez, I think I was her her first choice, or that's what she told me, and I just decided that I was going to stick to that version of the story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't really know if she if she approached uh, other actors before, but what I do know is that uh, because they did a, a another series before called uh, Cocaine Coast, I think uh, the the original title is Farinha. It's a story about uh, um, drug dealers in the northwest of Spain. And I'm from the northwest. So me, just like every other actor in this country, when, when the news came out that they were going to produce this, we all started ringing Teresa, telling her, look, I, I want to be in this series. I want to be a drug dealer. You know, But when the time came for to play a, a porn actor, Teresa started calling us, calling us back and no one would answer. You know, I think I was the only guy that actually uh picked up the phone and 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 said yeah let's go let's go, let's run with this let's um i want to be on board but uh yeah <laughs> no friends of spain which what's the football team out there i'm always in, uh, always interested deportivo la coruña man That's of my course favorite. it is of course it is i have a, I have a friend who sports deportivo actually yeah, yeah. So, and the other yeah. the other big football team is delta de vigo but we are like rivals like sure rivals you know I see. I see. Deportivo. They're they in the. They're not in the La Liga anymore, are they? Or they? Did they? Did they come down? Or it was in a deep, deep hole right now. We are ah. uh, not even the. Not even La Liga. Not even. Not not the one under it, but the one below. Oh, okay. Wow, that is a deep. We had a deep serious uh, financial problems. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I. I mean, my my English football team aren't doing particularly well either. So you know, it's all. What team it's do you all, support? I, I support Tottenham. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, like, I like that reaction. <laughs> my friend, most of them support uh, QPR. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, that's, uh, that's, that's West, Westland. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually like 10 minutes from the stadium. I can see the stadium from my bedroom window, regardless. Nice. Um, so they come to you and they pitch you this idea about the porn industry and a porn actor and everything else. I mean, what was your, I can imagine you, were, you had a reaction first and foremost, but when you read the script, you kind of thought, actually, there's, a story here there's a character here there's a world here that's actually really interesting aside from what people might think it's about yeah, well first of all i was a bit uh I, I, uh in disbelief because i don't look like nacho at all like physically you know and not also that just the the, the i think the energy that i give off and what the way people see me has nothing to do with uh the way people perceive nacho so i thought that okay that's a very counterintuitive choice uh and but I thought, well, that's interesting because if they're willing to assume this risk, uh, uh, casting wise, you know, that means they're probably do a very personal vision of uh, Natchez's life. 
and, and then I started investigating. I read Nacho's biography, which came out when he was 26. And I thought, wow, I just, that, that for me, that was, the, it was not also, a, a, not also a very, very, very interesting tool to work with later on. But um, that, you know, on that, that first reading, I thought, wow, this, this is an unbelievable world. This, this is really incredible what's going on behind the scenes in the porn industry and, and the way this guy navigates life. He's a very, very unique, very interesting human being. Completely, he just, he's just fearless, you know? And, and so I thought, wow, I started to hear like, you know, uh, uh, war drums, yeah? And uh, I just, I decided to, to, to follow the, the, that rhythm. And, you know, he wrote that when he was 26. And I thought, how, how on earth? I mean, uh, at the age of 26, I barely had enough ex life experiences to write a letter back home. And this guy just released an uh, autobiography, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he's just someone that lives on the fast lane, you know, and his life is a roller coaster. And it just, and I was very, because the, after that, he became a celebrity in Spain and he's well known, but, you know, he's been in reality shows and everyone knows him. But uh, that first stage of his life, he was very unknown when he was, I mean, within the, porn industry in that circle he was famous but not for the for the mainstream you know so the the I, I thought it was very interesting to to shine a light on the way his formative years or you know were like yeah i've heard a lot of people when they've actors when they've played real life people that they obviously have a, a pressure but for you given that you don't have much physicality in terms of similar to him. Was it kind of freeing in the sense that you would you were able to play your interpretation of him rather than actually doing a, a literal representation yeah, well, of him? It, that you could take yeah, a few risks. Like in, initially, we we no, no one was really sure of what way to go. Uh, I even tried some prosthetic noses. It, mm. it didn't work, and and also is I mean we are using Nacho as a vehicle to 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 tell the story of how the porn industry uh, evolved in Spain and, you know, later on at, to a worldwide level. But um, so it wasn't like the type of biopic that, you, you know, that we've seen with Margaret Thatcher or Winston Churchill. That wasn't, that wasn't the direction to go. What I, what I tried was not to portray not not to portray Nacho, but to portray the way I see Nacho somehow. I mm. try to really um, immerse myself in his figure and, you know, to do as much research as I could. And I watched uh, endless hours of interviews with him. And eventually, once I got on set, I just, I decided to, to cast all that aside and just try to uh, reflect his energy, but make it, but making my own at the same, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. I wasn't really impersonating him. I was trying to replicate his energy. And well, how much fun was it kind of stepping back in time as well? Because I know for when I spoke to actors before, they always like the fact of kind of stepping back in time. There's this scene when we arrive, when we're uh, driving this car along the coast in Valencia and um, the other cast members that, uh, you know, that are my friends on the series, not just friends, I think they're 23, 22, 21. I'm 38. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a, I, I belong to a whole different generation. So we were in the car driving and the, the car had this cassette thing on, uh, you know, the, the old cassettes. Yeah. The came with a cassette <laughs> and the cassette wasn't working. So I just, I pressed this button, took out the cassette, stick a, a, a pen inside and started to swirl it on the air. You know, to to wind it to wind it back, and they were in awe. They were like, "What the? What are you doing?" I'm like, this, and I, I told them, "This is the way it used to be, man. You know, <laughs> before the MP3 <laughs> and Spotify and all that. This is the way we listen to music in the car." Yeah, that was the way. My God, that's a crazy. That's, I remember. I remember doing that as a as a kid as well. That was the little <laughs> the little trick. <laughs> um, uh, just in terms of. The audience they'll see the synopsis of this show and think it's one thing but there's a lot of other stuff going on there what would you say to them that they can expect from the show and should they look past what they think it might be about look uh i think it's a very 
first of all, my goal was to entertain people. I think it's a very versatile, dynamic series. It has great rhythm, and I think everyone's going to enjoy it. You might not be in love with it, but you definitely, you're not going to, you know, uh, feel like you're wasting your time because so I think it's, it's very entertaining. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. It's great fun. Uh, Martinio, thank you so much for your time. I have a pleasure talking to you. Good luck. Okay. Hope it goes well for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.